Hello guys, it's me, Nikki. JK, y'all. It's your girl, Jess, and welcome back to a bitch's channel. So, about a week or two weeks ago, Thomas Halbert created this insane trend in the makeup world called I Try Blanks Makeup Tutorial, and me being the basic bitch I am, decided why not? So Nikki Tutorials posted a video about a week ago with this insane crazy red-blue look that I haven't even looked at yet. I saw the thumbnail and I was like, bitch. And I wondered if a normal bitch can recreate this look. So let's get right into this Makeup Monday. It's landed from a flight from New York to Amsterdam. Oh my god, y'all. I was just in Amsterdam. Oh my god. I got a vlog coming up. You should check that out too. Thank you, Olay, for partnering up with me. It means so much. Thank you to my mom for sponsoring this video. I very appreciate you. This right here is called Shameless Foundation by Marc Jacobs. Oh, girl. Okay. So, um, I don't have anything by Marc Jacobs. Like, I don't even think I can afford to go into the store. So, your girl is gonna come through with some Smashbox Studio skin. Girl, she went in and was like painting her face. Yeah, I'm too poor for that great of a foundation. So I'm just, I'm just gonna go grab my Real Techniques sponge. Use my code Jess for zero percent off your purchase, and kick this the fuck up on my face. So I literally have no idea how she got that kind of coverage. So I'm just gonna put in a few more pumps than I usually do because aha uh -huh, that is some full ass coverage oh wait shit she applied it with her sponge damn it two minutes in and I'm already failing so like this and then oh, that's not bad that is some coverage oh her skin's so fucking flawless and she doesn't even go in with like primer or anything so like I'm just I'm just gonna roll like how she did. Wow. I guess you really don't need primer. Girl, she teaching me new things every day. Okay, so Nikki going in with like a concealer it look like. She's so entertaining to watch. I love her. Um, but uh, she, she looks like she just went in with a brush to conceal her. I have never done this before, but I'm gonna try it. I have Origins concealer and like she went in with her brush. It's like a it's like a thick looking solid brush so I'm gonna try that like this I guess and then okay man these new techniques that I'm learning got me a little bit shook up in here Oh, and then she even goes in with her beauty blender again, or like, what is that? It looks like a beauty blender that got paninied. Hmm, okay. So then she went in to like make sure everything was blended one last time. I want to know who of you have seen Black Panther? I did. I literally just saw it yesterday. Amazing movie. Love it. Marvel. You doing good shit out there. Really quickly, I'm gonna do my brows off camera because I cannot speak when do my brows and I really wanna talk to you about what happened in the last couple of days, so I'll be right back. All right, brows are done. Okay, so she doesn't show us how she did her brows, but uh, I can maybe try to recreate it. Damn, her brows are like so on fleek. Okay, let's see, she, she got like a long and then she arches it a little bit. Let's, let's try that. So I tried to do my brows the way that she did hers, where they were long and like came out a little bit, but I think I may have failed. That's okay though, we're gonna keep rolling. Now let's move on to some crazy eyes. So today I'm gonna be playing with the brand new Juvia's Place palette. This is the festival. So, uh, your girl don't have that palette. We gonna try to make do with what she has. So, basically, she out here priming her eyes with some more concealer and, like, a flat brush. This is why I feel like she's so iconic. She out here not using them expensive primers. She mixes it up by priming with concealer sometimes. A little bit. She said she pats it in, so... Okay, so she said not to go in with any powder, no nothing, just shadows, so we gonna do that. 
I'm gonna go in with this red shade first. Okay, so let's see if we have anything close to that bright red color. Okay, let's check a few Morphe palettes, Makeup Geek, and Single Shadows. And then I have my Makeup Geek, this red one. Okay, the closest shade I could find to the Juvie's Place is the Jaclyn Hills palette, this color. And she just goes right into it, just like right in her hood. Okay, yeah, that's a lot darker. I just look like I got socked in the face. That might have been the wrong color. Doesn't this look more like the first color? My dumb bitch ass went in with the wrong color. Of course. Okay, I'm gonna have to wipe that off and try again. Okay, so I took off some of the color. It should be okay enough for me to go in with, you know, the right color, which is this one, I believe. Yeah, that is that is very much closer. Ugh. Okay. Okay, it looks like she kind of maybe goes in with like a different brush and she just brings it in a little bit and brings it out a little bit. So I'm going to try that. I may have chosen the wrong video. It doesn't really seem like a tutorial here. Whoa! Whoa! She, she went from here to like over here. We're, z mm. She went zero to a hundred real quick. Nikki Tutorials, girl, I out here teaching myself. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, she brought her in a corner. Like, okay. She brought it out. There's like a little gap in the middle. So I'm going to try that. When I said I wanted my face to look beat. So it looks like she might be going in with a little bit of a bigger brush and like a, like an orangey color. She's using that blend in motion. Yeah, it turned kind of orange. Might just be like she's blending it, but there was an orange color in the palette, so that might be what she used. I'm gonna pray, and then I'm gonna try to clean it up with some concealer. I'm cutting the lid with that concealer again, and I want to do a spotlight colorful creative eye today. And I'm trying to come up with a sort of new shape. Okay, going back into concealer. Concealer out here being my BFF. And she goes, duh, duh. And like a line across where her hood is. So it's nowhere as clean as hers, but it's a cut bitch. Taking that shimmering white highlighter shade. And this is going right over top. I want it thinnest instead of like the center going down it's sort of like an hourglass but more faded <sighs> i'm going in an hourglass but more faded so i'm gonna go in see it almost makes the lid look wet okay we try to make my lids wet hourglass think kim kardashian jess think kim Kardashian. Okay, so my eyes are a mess. You know what, since we're playing here anyways, I just got these Danessa Myricks Waterproof Cushion Colors in, and this is a neon orange. And I really wanna put a small defined thin line at where the, cre like the faux crease meets the color. Please don't let me down. Okay, so she, she went in with a little bit of orange orange obviously a paint so it's much brighter than mine but that's okay i tried i tried for the lower lash line believe it or not i'm gonna go in with the blue girl did she just say blue because i'm gonna be creative yes a blue do i even have a blue you know what never thought these colors would come in handy but it looks like this color is very close to the matte blue one that she used no instructions she just went in so let's go yolo Okay, I tried. Put on lashes and maybe a liner. Okay, so what happened was... Whoa, whoa! She said lashes and liner, she come back comp The... The fuck? Nikki, you gonna have to talk me through this. Let's, let's hear it. Um, it looked a little weird without a wing, so I added a wing, and then I was like, the blue is too contrasty 
compared to like what's going on top. So I added a little bit of purple and I add a little bit of pink here. That's basically all that, oh, and I added yellow to that. I changed a lot. Yeah, yeah, you did change a lot. Okay, we are gonna go get some plastic surgery up in this look. She says she added liner with the wing and purple. I'm gonna add a liner with the wing and some purple. Okay, I lined it. And purple, I don't know if I have purple. There is a purple, but it's a shimmer. No other toys, we go in with the shimmery purple. She says she added some pink to the inner corners. So I'm gonna use like a lighter pink. This is from the Naked 2 palette and I fucked it up. So now it's in my uh, depotted palette. So. Okay, and then she, she added some yellow, which I'm not gonna do because I didn't really notice a difference with the yellow and I, I just, I don't, I don't, I, I don't know where I'm going with this anymore. And she said the game changer is lashes, so I'm gonna do that. Okay, since I'm gonna try to get as close as possible to her look, cause I out here teaching myself, the lashes are on and I'm gonna add a little bit of black to the inner corner cause like her eyes look so deepened here. Okay. I tried, this This is close. I'm, I'm at least in the same color scheme as her, I feel like. So now for the bottom lashes, I'm gonna go in with the Bad Gal Bang Mascara by Benefit, as I talked about, and this is, it grabs every lash on that lower lash line, and it just coats it so nicely in one go that it looks like you're wearing falsies on your lower lashes. It's dramatic, but I love dramatic. See, one go. So I don't have anything of what she has, but I do have mascara. This is Too Faced, the waterproof one. So she says it grabs at your lashes, but I realize a mascara doesn't work if it has nothing to grab on. Now let me go off camera for a little and just try to get near this. Just trying. Ooh, eyes are done. So colorful, so festive. Okay, so she tried and she succeeded, but um, uh, I'm gonna go try to do that too. Okay guys, so in the time it took me to recreate this look, I'm pretty sure the lighting changed. Kinda proud of this look. This is the craziest I've ever gone, so thank you Nikki for letting me step out of my comfort zone, but uh, I still think I look like a hot fucking mess. Today I'm going to bronze with this Marc Jacobs bronzer in the color Tantric. Okay, so like I said, I don't have Marc Jacobs anything, so CoverGirl gonna come through with that bronzer. Okay, so she didn't say she used brush. She was just like moving around and I love her storytelling. You can go watch her storytelling on her video. This is called Glow Around the World. And I'm just gonna go into my Tarte uh, free sample that I got for my birthday. And I'm gonna go into the cheeks with that because I think that's a similar color to whatever she's using. She went hard into her highlighter, but I'm just gonna go into the Wet n Wild. Ooh, and then I'm just gonna swirl the fuck my brush into that and I'm gonna see if I can try and recreate that that glow Yes, what and while come through Who you see that? Okay, and then for lips I have the brand new Fenty Beauty lipsticks right here So I definitely want to wear one of those with this crazy look right here. So can we go for a nudish? Ooh, I like this shade. This is up to no good. Okay, and then a new gloss to kind of neutral it down. She used like an orangey nude lip. I have something that might be similar. Okay, so I got this ABH nudie lippy color, this color pop one. So I'm gonna see if I can kind of like recreate that lip look. Okay, so what a journey, what a moment, but I made it and it's a little crazy. I'm not gonna lie, but <laughs> that was actually fun because I feel like it wasn't extremely shitty. Like in the middle, I kind of lost hope, but I salvaged it. And like, I don't know. 
oh, Nikki girl, I, not your fault. I chose the wrong tutorial. I should have chosen something that was more tutorialish. I was like that one meme where the dog's holding its own collar as it crosses the street because like, I don't even know if some of the colors I used are right. Like I improvised a little bit and I didn't have any of her products, but I think I created a pretty similar look. No, God, please, no. Thank you for watching this. I try to follow Nikki Tutorials makeup and I'll see you guys next video.